This is Bill Pickle, Food Travel Adventure. I thought I'd do a little video. I haven't done many chip reviews, although for decades, any new chip that comes out I eat. Uh, this one I believe I've had before, but I can't really recall. I would not buy it personally, because I'm not a big crawfish person per se, but uh, I have had all of the other Zaps chips and they're exceptional, and I love Zaps. They're just amazing. Um, I think they're, what, Oots? I think they're even affiliated with that. Um, but at Win dixie they had an amazing event where they were giving out all sorts of free swag, and it was a grand opening here for Anita Beach. Music playing, people dancing, winning coolers, barbecue grills, 500 groceries, just awesome stuff for like a regular store to do. Acquired these beautiful chips, and a whole lot of them too. My mom kind of got them pretty good, but uh, yeah, they're just exceptional. I'm gonna, we're gonna do a little review here. I am repping the Cartnark shirt, which anytime you see someone breaking the cart laws, it takes all the Narcoteers to handle that, honestly. I mean, it's kind of a jerk thing to do, but I love all of the cart narcs, all of the agents out there just doing God's cart work, really. But uh, let's get in this chip review. Zaps Potato Chips, New Orleans Kettle Style, which I, I'm here or there about kettle cook things. The popcorn's not my thing, but some of the chips, like the Cape Cods, yeah, I can deal with it. Spicy Cajun Craw Taters. Naturally artificial flavored. Uh, who really cares how healthy they are? I'm sure they're not. But uh, we got New Orleans style kettle cooked chips. Cooked to perfection, combined with premium ingredients. The special recipe is a, is a result of crispier, tastier, unique potato chip experience. And that's what I like, like with different chips. Like I'm always amazed, like hot dog chips. It does taste like damn hot dogs, so. Let's get into it. And now I'm referencing uh, Long Island Audit. Let's get into it. We're here to respect the chips and uh, make sure that they're uh, accountable for what chips are doing. And uh, I'm auditing these chips right now. Let's do a temperature and time check. That would be uh, Agonastic Press. I'd like to do a video with you guys too. I love all the YouTube crap, but let's see. Definitely not any craw. Definitely not that spicy. I'll make sure that wasn't a dud. The crunch on the chip is a kettle chip. It has a little Cajun seasoning. If you're a wussy, I mean, it's kind of embarrassing. I think most Cajuns would laugh at this, that it says Cajun on it. But, uh, because it doesn't, it's not that spicy. I mean, I, I feel like dressing these up with some, uh, maybe some Two Step Fire from Stale Cracker, perhaps. Another YouTuber who puts out a good product. Um, but yeah, these definitely need a little uptick. There are the voodoo ones. Those are my go-to. That's probably why I'm a little let down. I really didn't taste any craw seafood flavor, but let's see. I guess there's a little bit, but I'm thinking it's like old day. Well, there might be a little seafood taste to it. A little bit of that, uh, mud bug taste. But for the most part... Spicy is an exaggeration. Cajun is definitely an exaggeration. These are not spicy and they're not that damn Cajun. If anything, they're like, uh, I forget who makes it. It might be Lay's. I don't think it is though. I think it's uh, Cape Cod who makes a uh, Old Bay chip. That's pretty much what these are. But, buy them, eat them. One chip is better than no chip. So, I'll never degrade a chip. I've had some pretty rank-ass chips, though, which I'm not going to blast anybody. I will say Zaps, good quality chip. Crunch, always fresh in the bag. Price-wise, pretty standard right there with uh, Lay's and all the other chip varieties. But, you know, Cheetos got some really good products. Frito-Lay, in general, I think is dominating. Their price point pretty much dictates. But um, lately, I've been getting Southeast Grocers, which is probably a deal through Frito-Lay. But they have some really good flavors also that are worth trying especially for the price point which is half of what Lay's is so but uh if you're a chip lover hit them up whether at the gas station at the store some dude opens a bag next to you say let me get one and uh don't believe in your cards out eat that stale cracker two-step you will not regret getting it and uh 
Feel free to be an asshole to all public officials and police officers. I don't do it, but I do love watching all the videos on Amagasset Press and on Long Island Audit. These guys put themselves out there. I would never do that. <clears throat> but I do appreciate what they're doing, and they are kind of supporting the Constitution. Um, I don't know if that's the best thing you should be fighting for right now. I feel like everything... Uh, if you want someone to feel like they have rights, you know what you do. You tell them you have rights. It's, it's always a questionable thing, but... Um, I think they do a good job. I think it's pretty humorous. I think people get in uproar about the cameras and being photographed, but a good example is 20 years ago, if someone had a camera out, you'd be like, hey, mom, you know, that is a good uh, argument to that. But um, some of the other cooler YouTubers that I see, um, was it Kurt Cass? He's exceptional. Then there's Indigo Traveler. That dude is awesome. I love all the travel stuff, so if you're watching any of these YouTubes, I definitely recommend uh, kind of diving into them and seeing what these guys are doing. Um, I just do my crap here, wherever I go, and it costs me nothing, so either way, food, Ville Pickle, food travel adventure.